So this question looks like a simplify question. Simplify questions are always short, somewhere between one and three lines long. And simplify questions will always contain an equation and or an expression. We have both here. So what I usually do is to take a look at the equation and simplify that equation as much as I can. So we could do that by adding 28 to both sides here. That would lead to 4x is equal to 4. Of course, divide both sides by 4. That leads to x is equal to 1. The question asks for the value of x minus 7. So x minus 7 is equal to 1 minus 7, which is equal to negative 6. And therefore, the correct answer is choice C. Now, another way to do this, had I had read all the way through and saw that I was looking for x minus 7, I could have, for instance, just factored this to become 4 times x minus 7 equals negative 24. Then I can divide both sides by 4, leaving me with x minus 7 equals negative 6. But there's no, you know, brownie points for doing it this way versus the way I did it at first. So, you know, simplifying the entire equation will never lead you astray. Just make sure you don't put the answer as just the x, although it's not listed here. Uh, make sure you're always checking to make sure you're answering the proper question, in this case, x minus 7.